A powerful new long-range rifle is being used by British troops on the front line for the first time. Royal Marines from 40 Commando have begun using the sharpshooter rifle in the Sangin area of Helmand. A combat shotgun is also in the pipeline. The Paras are looking forward to using the new weapons as well when they deploy to Afghanistan in October, as John Ryle reports. At a training base in Surrey, two power prepare to become the first British soldiers to face the hazards of Helmand for a third tour of duty. And this time, there are two additions to the Paris Afghanistan arsenal. The sharpshooter, the first new infantry combat rifle issued to troops for 20 years, will mean enhanced accuracy in longer range firefights. It allows you to um, I positively identify uh, human targets up to 1,300 metres and vehicle recognition up to 3,000 metres. Uh, so it's an awesome bit of kit. But the talk of the range is another newcomer, a combat shotgun with a range of 40 metres firing buckshot, 1,300 metres firing solid shot. So combat shotgun, this is the first use of one of these in Afghanistan. Yep. You've had it for, what, three days now? Yeah, I've been training it for three days now, yeah. And how are you finding it? Uh, I think it's a really good weapon system. It can be employed within the patrol very well. It would be situated nearer to the front of the patrol. Um, I think when they're going through the corn, when we were out there, we didn't have this sort of weapon system. And they find it hard when the threat come out from the corn. It's hard to hit that, that person with a weapon. With a shotgun, it's easier to bring it to bear. And with the two types of round, the slug, which you can get up to 140 metres, and the shot, which you can do the shorter ranges with, I think it's a very good uh, weapon system for that. Push that over there like that. So that's off now, yeah? And that's ready to fire, sir. So. How many hits was that? All of them. Was it? Yeah. Good shooting. Right. Since the Paras' last tour of duty in Afghanistan, the kits changed too. New safety features, improved comfort, and multi terrain camouflage designed for maximum invisibility in the desert and in the green zone. We now have the guys dressed in the multi terrain pattern camouflage. Uh, with the Osprey Assault body armour, now with the plate inside the jacket so it's not sticking out in the pocket, and then the Mark 7 helmet, which gives much better interface with the weapon systems and also any load carriage. What else is new? Well, since the Paras last tour of duty in Helmand, the ration packs too have been food for thought. At the end of the next tour, the Paras will give military chiefs their feedback on the sharpshooter, the shotgun, and the chicken tikka masala. John Ryle, Forces News. That'll be interesting to hear.